what a feeling really to be to be honest there and uh, I just couldn't wait just to speak to people about the fact that I was I had been selected you know and and, and probably more so couldn't wait for the tour to come to have played on alliance to a uh, no words can describe you know how much that meant to me really and you know and even now to the day where I'm not going to play anymore I just love the tour and what it what it involves and what it means to to you know to the British Isles and and, and to the world of rugby as well so um you know it's it's again one of my favorite times playing for the Lions all five the Wales have done particularly well in the Grand Slam out of the blue completely out of the blue and and all of a sudden a lot of names have been throw, thrown around the Lions selection I didn't think I w would have been good on the tour. I, th I still thought I had a lot to learn. I thought the Lions would be a big step up for me. Even though the Six Nations went pretty well for me personally and for Wales, I was just beaming all the way home and, and all my family and friends had seen the announcement before I did. You know, my phone was just buzzing off the hook and it, it was just fantastic. It was, you know, what a feeling really, to be to be honest with you. And uh, I just couldn't wait just to speak to people about the fact that I was I, I'd been selected, you know, and. And, and probably more so, couldn't wait for the tour to come. When you get selected in the squad, that's all you want to do is play. And the first game was Argentina, of course, and, and it didn't matter what it was, where it was, or you know what it represented. It was the British and Irish Lions game. You put the jersey on and you're a British and Irish Lion player. And that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to do it quick. The fact that it was in Cardiff, a lot of Welsh representatives and, and, and of course support there was amazing. It was put together so quickly, it was almost like a barbarian style. Look, just get a team together, let's play some rugby and we don't really know which way we're going to play, we don't know. And of course it was a draw in the end, which almost took the shine off a little bit, but I didn't care, you know, I was, I, I, I'd had a Lions cap, I, I had a taster of what it was all about and I just couldn't wait for the tour to come. As soon as you get that jersey on you, and, and you play a minute of rugby, you're in a British and Irish Lion uh, rugby player and you know you know the history that comes with it, you know the tradition and, and for me, you know players that have kind of worn that jersey before you. This is a legacy, you know, I'm becoming part of, of these superheroes that I grew up wanting to emulate and want, wanting to be. You know, when you look at the results and you look at the, the test games, it, it wasn't a success. It was hard. It was a learning curve for me. It was a learning curve for a lot of players, I'd say. Certainly a character builder, for sure. I don't come away from there and think, ah, oh, it was a crap tour. I didn't enjoy it. You know, we did everything wrong. I don't blame the coaches. I don't blame the players. We went over there with what we felt would be the squad, the coaches and the team to, to win the series. It didn't happen. We were beaten against a much better New Zealand side. And, uh, you know, I can take that on the chin. And, and I think the rest of the players would turn around and say, you know, that's the hardest rugby tour we've been on. We'd like to think that we've become better players because of it. You know, I was a British and Irish Lions rugby player. Of course I wanted to win the Test Series. Of course I did. That goes without saying. In fact, if anything, it made me hungrier. It made me a better player. And it made me want to be on the next Lions tour where, you know, we could right a few wrongs. You know, we could get the selection right. We could get the squad tougher and better together, and uh, and we could give you know South Africa a real go. When 2009 came, I probably wasn't hitting the heights that I did in 08, and I wanted that back. I wanted to be feeling like I did in 08 and fit and, and fast and ready. I got on that tour, and I probably because of the 05 factor where it didn't go too well. I wanted 09 to go really well, so I was pushing things, and and because of that, I made a lot of mistakes on the field. And competition was was really, really tough. You know, you look at the likes of Tommy Bow, who was playing and played really well. You know, you had guys like Hugo Monnier, who was playing well for, uh, for club and country. So I, I always felt I felt like I was under pressure all the time. And I really struggled at the start of the tour in training and, and during the games. And I could just feel the test position kind of slipping away from me. And, that, and of course, that's what happened. You know, I, I, I was I was again played a lot because Rob Howley was like, look, Shane, you're forcing it. I would just want you to relax and play like a weight. And as the tour went on, I started to. I started not to kind of force things and, and took a lot of pressure off myself. And by the time we got to the first test, I thought, oh, I might be in the shout for this test now because, you know, I've, I've it's been going OK. I didn't get in in the first test and I was just so frustrated. I was like, ah, oh, Shane, this is your own fault. There's another two tests to go. You've got to fight your way back into this. And uh, and that's what I did. You know, I, I training went really well. I kind of took all the pressure off myself and you know, I was competing with the boys in training. I was going really well. I, good. I made sure my attitude was was healthy and that I was having a real go. 
and uh, I was put in obviously into the the starting squad for the second test, which was great. But you know, I needed time on the pitch, and I think I played about four or five minutes, um, and we lost at the death. You know, so that was a, that was a kick in the teeth for sure, and again, very very frustrating. But you know, I, I was undeterred. I was I was desperate to play in that third test, despite the fact we'd lost the series, despite the fact a lot of a lot of boys' heads started to drop and we felt we should have won the series already. I just was chomping at the bit and I wanted to play in that third test to prove a point, not to anyone else, but to myself. And, you know, lucky lucky for me, I, I went out with, with the right attitude. I was prepared to win that game, whatever it took. And I was prepared to, to get involved heavily and, and do whatever it took to, uh, to win that match. And I did. You know, I was rewarded with two tries and, and a man of the match performance in the third test. That was my favourite ever game in a Lions in a uh, in a Lions jersey, and I still look back at 09 and and I, even though again, despite the fact you know I didn't play in the first test, I didn't play well at the start of the tour, I still loved every second of it, you know, because of what it stood up, stood for really, and I still look back now and have fond memories of that third test, and uh, always say it's the one that got away, but that's life and that's rugby and. Uh, you know, you wouldn't change it really. You wouldn't change it, and uh, I, I'm very honoured that, that I did play in that third test, and uh, and that I showed the you know the attitude of a of a British and Irish Lions rugby player, and I kept playing to the end, and uh, I'm very proud of. That. I was playing in a rugby in Japan. I was my first season out there, so I was in Haneda Airport on the way to Japan, and I had a phone call 11:30 at night from Rob Howley, and he said, "Shane, how are you feeling? Hi, Rob. Yeah, good." Uh, I'm just on the way up to, to to Australia, actually, and just well, yeah, yeah, I know. He said, um, "Couldn't do us a favour, could you? You couldn't uh, put your boots on again and play against the Brumbies." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Rob." You know, half asleep, and um, and that was it. I was back with it. I was back in the fold, you know. Still pinching myself, still asking, "What the hell am I doing here?" But I didn't care, you know. I I just knew I had I had 20, less than 24 hours to kind of prepare for a for a British Nights nice Lions game. It was hard. It was tough. The intensity was a lot more than I was used to for a while, but I loved it. I loved the fact that it was a full crowd. I had this. You know, I almost had to kind of look down and realize I had this jersey on again, and I was like, "God, didn't think I'd see you again." You know, it was one of those. But I loved every every minute of it. You know, Gats and 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 Howlers came up and said, "Oh, look, really appreciate you doing this. You didn't have to do this." I said, "Look, any excuse to put that shirt back on? I hope I've done you proud." And literally, that was it. You know, it was a handshake, a little hug, and um, off on your way. You know, it, that was it. That was my my uh, the, my last of my Lions experience. But like I said, I it was what a story to to take around Australia for for nearly two months with. It was fantastic. Immensely proud to be a British Irish Lions rugby player. You know, with the history it it brings, and with the players that have worn that jersey, and that'll never get taken away. I've I've got it. You know. I played on three tours. There's not many players that could say they'd done it. Even though if one was a cameo appeals, I don't care. I'll take it all day long. I gave my all every time I played, whether we won, lost, or drawn. I, I gave my all, and I'm very proud of that factor as well. And there's a lot of things in in my rugby career that have gone really, really well. And there's a lot of things that per perhaps haven't. And that's that's a career. That's life. I wouldn't change it then, really. You know, I, at this point, I haven't won a series. I would love to have done it. When I look at that and I look at what I have achieved and and the the life I've had in rugby, you know I'm 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 gracious and I'm very humble of what I've achieved.